Okay, greetings from Robot Japan. I've got all the die baron pieces out and I'm gonna show everybody real quickly what it takes to get it together. Uh, to start with though, if you're curious, die cast parts, the entire chest with the exception of the red spiky arm parts are die cast. The head's plastic, uh, that abdomen section's pure die cast. The legs, the silver parts are all die cast, just with the red sheath. And then the toes are plastic. Um, also this red cart is plastic with metal. Magnet, um, it's steel for the magnets. Plastic wheels. And then you've got a really hard resin for those black blades. And most accessories are plastic with a bit of metal in it. Okay, we're going to start with the leg. And just to show you some of the detail work, we've got on the back a spring-loaded adjuster for the height, like for the parts, and it locks in place. For some of the uh, vehicles, it's small, yet for the robot, mind you, this is all die-cast with a magnet right here at the top, it begins over there and then there's a uh, brass roller where the foot slides together just like so and then likewise you take the adjoining leg you get it to fit together and then we get winglets which, unlike modern Chogokan, just push, pit, push fit in place. And now here's a giant chunk. I'd say this is probably as heavy as uh, maybe two Mazingers put together. It's insane. Those are magnets, most likely permanent magnets in the middle. Um, then you've got a heavy, heavy, heavy die casting. And then a spot for those blades to fit on the side. So I will put the blades on the side right now. And as far as I recall, uh, this guy ends up being symmetrical. It's been a while. But he switches up in there. Just so. And then you get the blades. Which can go on there. And then again, uh, this is steel. So the permanent magnet right in the ab fits in and this ends up being a pretty tight fit. Um, it's going to probably chip the paint but well that's part of the fun. Unfortunately I can't have it always. And then the head which is a beautiful sculpt. Um, from an art standpoint it keep some amazing themes together with facets and pinwheels and blades and all that good stuff. So that is also magnetic. Then we get the thumb and the hand. We get uh, small little chromed details like missiles. And uh, in case you're curious, this ends up being landing gear for one of the vehicle modes. And it's all die cast, heavy metal.
get the fist in. There. I'm gonna scoot him back a little bit. And then one of the one of the shooters. Which is an interesting piece. Can fit in here. And you get the driver. So.